Okay, so the line in works. All right. Get rid of that. Okay. No more CD player. Now, here is, let's see, let's flip it over to, let's see, let me show you the front. Let's see, we need to white out some. There we go. And put it on. Uh, and as you can tell, let's see. Well, we need to have a, I guess, so you hear how the volume goes scratchy? We're going to cure that in this video. I'm going to show you how. Or how I do it. Okay. In custom build for Phil. Five hundred bonus cash on every new 2014 Camry model. Sunday to Toyota World. Credit. Have you CSL plasma? There's still a bit of scratchiness, even though I haven't played this radio in a long time. Anyway, now let me play a little tape for you. So here, let's get a eject tape. Put this in. Anyway. Play. You can win a Ford F-150 Lightning. Excursion surrounding you with the wonders of sound and gives you an actual right, yeah. being there feeling. But first, make sure that you have set the mode switch to its biphonic position. Now sit back, directly in front of the unit, about 80 centimeters away. Are you ready? Are you ready? Now, let's go together to a motor raceway, where all the exciting action let's is taking place a in a setting let's, surrounded let's by woods and fields. Open the unit up and take a look inside, all right? Stop first so we can take the tape out of the way. And this uh, didn't do this right. There we go. Give me the tape. Great. Alright, so after you remove about you know six equal size screws or so out of there, <coughs> the radio just flops out the front. Okay. Now uh, what I do is I anyway, what I do is uh, okay. This one again, similar to the uh, RX 5100 over there, is that's the same, pretty much the same radio. This one here simply doesn't have any tweeters. You got two different. Uh, right here, let me just let me take the camera off the tripod, all right, and just give you a close view of what I'm talking about. Let's see here. Let's get this off here. Okay, there we go. All right. See here. Here's where, wait, you got two different mounting points. You could mount a tweeter here or there, or here or here. There's no uh, tweeter there, okay? This one over here really does have uh, little piezo tweeters in there, okay? As well as microphones and so on and so forth. This one does not. This is the one that has the that front to it. So it's got a microphone behind there, but you also could add a tweeter if you wanted to. If you really wanted to, you could put one here and wire it in and all that, but I'm not going to go through that. What I want to show you is how I'm going to get into here, right there and there, and oh, I'm sorry, here and there, and spray some deoxit. Spray some deoxit. Uh, right there. Spray some of that. And so they don't have any of this, I use an air compressor with air to blow out the connection. So let me put this thing back on the tripod. Okay. Alright, so i get to it. I'm just trying to show you that the controls are... Oh, lock it in. Okay. And zoom back in. Okay, and readjust. Right about... Right about there. Okay. Alright, that's... Zoom out, that'll give you. Okay. So now, hopefully you've heard the controls of this here, still scratchy and such, right? So the source radio. Everybody's out. Anyway, 
enough of that. So here, let's, let's put it on tape. And uh, we just power off. Let's run the volume up. What I want to do is I want you this in here. Let's put just a drop. That's good enough. Just a bit there. Now, run this back and forth. That's all we're doing. I like to run, put a bit of this the other direction. Make sure you get it all the way into there. Should be able to feel it. Run that back and forth a bit. Now I'm going to come with the air and put them about halfway. Bring some air in there. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. There we go. Protecting patient that's records that's more takes. at ghhconnect.org. Hopefully you understand it just takes a drop of this stuff and a bit of air and that's it. Enjoy pre-show kids now, uh, activity. I'm going to put a drop more back in just to give it a little bit of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, lubricant from this stuff. Just a drop. Don't need much. That's it. I'm done. Finished. Okay. Let's see what how have I showed you? Well, yeah. Where are we at? Nine minutes. This is a long video. Okay. Well, hope you enjoyed all this. I've worked on all of these radios here, except for the two auto reverse ones. Good day. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.